Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another episode of Will Win and Will Not Win where today we are going to talk about why Colombia's Laura Olaskwaga will not win Miss Universe 2020. <laughs> Welcome to the episode 6 of Will Win and Will Not Win segment in my YouTube channel. This is the episode 6 featuring Colombia's Laura Olaswaga. I have already uploaded the first 5 episodes featuring Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, India, and South Africa. All episodes are already available on my YouTube channel. So each of these countries have their own two segments, the Will Win and Will Not Win. So if you haven't seen those videos, be sure to check it out as well. Now. This is the second part of the two-part series. I have already uploaded the first part, which is why Colombia's Laura Alaswaga will win Miss Universe 2020. So if you haven't seen that, check that one out as well and see if you will be convinced that she will win Miss Universe 2020 because this video will answer why she will not win Miss Universe 2020. But before we continue, let me just start by saying that the purpose of this video is not to bring down candidates. If you have been following my post, the purpose of this video is to highlight the areas of opportunities for the contestants being talked about so that we can help them identify which areas do they need to work on. Our purpose here is to make sure that the ladies could work on those things that they need to improve so that they will come to the pageant with their most prepared version of themselves. Because of course we would love to see them appear as a very competitive version so hopefully you'll get our point on why we are doing this video now Colombia already won two crowns in Miss Universe first one was in 1958 with Luz Marina Zulwaga and the second one was in 2014 with Paulina Vega this year Colombia is aiming for the third Miss Universe crown now why Colombia's Laura Oluswaga will not win Miss Universe 2020 first is the controversial victory when Laura won Miss Universe Colombia 2020, it was a very controversial win with people questioning the result when many heavy contenders were being left behind in every round. It's like they are paving the way for Laura to win because she was the remaining strongest contender in the final three, which gave her an assurance to ultimately win the title. I personally think that Laura did very well and I am a huge fan of her, especially with how she performed in swimsuit and evening gown. But I have a feeling that these rumors about the controversy with her victory in Miss Universe Colombia 2020 might affect her chances in a way. Number two, the new organization. With a new organization handling Miss Universe Colombia 2020, as of the moment, I am still unsure because we don't know how the new organization will deliver and how will they prepare Laura for Miss Universe because Senorita Colombia consistently given Colombia high placements in Miss Universe even when it transitioned to IMG they are still consistently placing on top and that is just remarkable with the new organization we don't know how they are going to attack this pageant yet so we will see how they would deliver but of course we cannot give an assurance that if Senorita Colombia did very well, we cannot use that as a comparison with the new organization because we don't know how they will prepare Laura for Miss Universe. Number three, public speaking. I am actually very unsure about how consistent Laura is when it comes to public speaking because I have asked people to help me translate her answer during the finale of Miss Universe Colombia and I think her answers were very strong. I, I, I believe that. But what caused my confusion is the live that she did in Instagram where her answers are, I mean many people are making fun of her answers. She's been answering random questions from fans. And as what I have said earlier, some of the fans are making fun of her answers and there are random questions where her answers are a bit, it's, it, it is too weak to me. She's not answering the question directly. I mean, quite disappointing, to be honest. At least based on the people that I asked when it comes to this translation, it was really, really disappointing. And the worst thing is, it was a live question. So as Miss Universe, you need to deliver great answers because most of the questions, all of the questions actually are random questions. So whether it is just a random live interview, you, need, you still need to make sure that you deliver strong answers because I mean, you are the next Miss Universe, if ever. So 
you cannot give so so answers to these random interviews because a Miss Universe always gives always gives consistently strong answers so those answers disappointed me so so much and I believe that with IMG giving focus to Miss Universe to question and answers and with her quality if those are the answers that she will be giving to random questions it could definitely affect her placement so so much now Let's talk about her not winning Miss Universe 2020. Do I see Colombia not placing in the top 20? Honestly, as much as I love how she performs in the evening gown and swimsuit performances during the national pageants, which I believe she could bring and level up to the Miss Universe stage, but I, I still see her not placing. I wanted to see that consistency in public speaking for her because if not, no matter how good she is when it comes to swimsuit and evening gown pre preliminaries, her interviews could be the reason, could be the deciding factor on why she will not make it. But assuming she makes it in the top 20, I can also see her getting stuck in the top 20 and not make it in the top 10. Her delivery during the national pageant was okay. But in a Miss Universe competition, I wanted her to level it up even more, especially when it comes to giving a convincing answer because that's, I believe, she needs to improve on. It wasn't convincing when it comes to her national pageant answer. So if she gives the same amount of delivery, I don't see her advancing to the top 10. But Again, that's what we have said, assuming she makes it in the top 10, I see no reason for her not advancing to the top 5. Because again, as what we have said before, swimsuit and evening gown performances are really her strength. So I believe that if Laura makes it in the top 10, she will ace it all the way to the top 5, no doubt. Right now, I can see a lot of strong contenders, at least for my preference. So I'm not really sure if Laura is strong enough to go into the top 5, but assuming she passed in all previous rounds and entered the top five with all the performances, the delivery, the interviews that she gave, I really find it very difficult to envision her winning. I mean, it could change, especially if she gives a genuine and strong responses. But the thing about Laura is I am missing that connection when she's speaking. I am missing that relatability when she speaks and this is why Laura Olaswaga from Colombia will not win Miss Universe 2020. So what do you think? Do you agree that Laura Olaswaga from Colombia will not win Miss Universe 2020? If you have other reasons on why she will not win and what she needs to improve based on your reasons, you can comment them down on the comment section below. Who knows? It might help the team Colombia. What do you think? And also before we go, don't forget to check the other video, its counterpart, on why Laura Olaswaga from Colombia will win Miss Universe 2020. Again, don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.